Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another Unity Anti-Mario Dimensions video. This is episode 4 and today we're going to be starting on uh, the Dimensional Sacrifice. Yeah, so this should be an interesting one. We have our equations all set up, so this shouldn't be too, bi uh, too big of a deal. Or too bad, I like tick speed. <laughs> Alright, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, you can smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, turn on those notifications, check out my Patreon and the link, the link's in the description if you want to support me. Comment all your uh, uh, compliments, feedback, suggestions, all that good stuff below, and check out my other videos in the top right corner. Anyways, let's hop into it. Um, so, okay, so... Okay, so I don't know the exact equation for the dimensional sacrifice but I tried my best okay so here's some of my notes I can't remember if I discussed this in a previous video but I started doing this so um dimensional sacrifice based on floor log 10 first dim so the first dimension so basically it's based off of this number right here okay and the highest floor um no the highest so basically um oh yeah so based on current dim sack as well maybe it's based on highest okay so I thought it was, so, when, I think it's highest being whenever you, like, highest, um, amount when you did a sacrifice, right? So, we take the difference between those, okay? So, we do highest, uh, is equal to floor log 10 first dim minus the current floor, okay? And this starts at exponent E11, and, or exp exponent 11, and our equation is roughly this. That's my guess. Now, we may not be correct, but I think that's my guess. Okay, so let's hop into this. This will be taking place in the dimensions, right? So we don't have it in here because I reset all my progress, but it's in here next to the ma uh, by max all, okay? So let's, uh, I should have created this interface. Be right back. Okay, so as we're approaching this, we should get it. Okay, so let's see. When do we unlock it? I think it's when we first reach uh, eight, right? No. Okay, so it's after we get the dim boost five. Okay, unlocked. When get dim boost or dim shift because this is dimensional shift, right? And then it transforms into dimension boost. Now that makes sense, okay? I didn't understand that at first, but I completely forgot the terminology of this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. In here, we have a confirmation thing. I'm not going to add the confirmation yet. I'm just going to throw the button right in. And I eventually want to learn how to do pop-ups like this, because I personally don't know yet how to do that. So maybe I can just some do some kind of like... Uh, I don't know. Can we do buttons like if hovered over button or something? I don't know. I'll have to learn how to do that because I think that would be kind of cool. Okay. So let me add the buttons in real quick. Also, before we do this, I want to be sure to add this color thing here. So how did we do it? Well, we did the exact same thing as a button in here. And let's see. Let's grab our UI real quick. I think that's right here. It's yeah. So it's a cut. It's a button. So I'm going to add a button real quick, okay? And now in our update method, we're just going to set the color equal to, oh, magnet, sorry. Um, let's see, we can just copy this here. And our colors, our, our colors right here are based are originally from dimensions. So we'll just grab them from there. So if antimatter is greater than tick speed cost, that's pretty much it. Self-explanatory. Oh, dot colors. It's dot color, right? Dot colors. Why is dot color not a thing? <clears throat> is it an image? I think it's an image. Yeah, it is an image. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, so image. Here's our button right there. Okay, so we got that done. Pretty easy. And now we need to get a UI in. And this looks like a pretty wide button, so... <laughs> Okay, so it looks like that. Alrighty. I'm going to create a new empty here. Now let's move this full screen because that's kind of annoying. Uh, so tick speed. Copy and paste that. This will be our dim sack right here. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good on our UI. I could probably squeeze some of these things up a little more so I have space for the galaxies. But otherwise, I think we're on, we're on to a good start here. Yeah, I'm just going to shift these up a bit. Look at that. Yeah, that looks perfectly fine. Now it doesn't look as cluttered, I guess, down there. All right, so now that we have our 
dimensional sacrifice. Let's get that going in here. And that will be in our game, or actually, that will be in our dimensions. Um, okay, I'm going to close everything we don't need. All right. Um, first off, we need, so we have our dimensions. Let's do, so we have dimension shift here. Let's add regions to kind of organize this dimension shift. Okay, there we go. That will kind of organize our code. And here we'll add dimensional sacrifice. Okay, and now in here, we need to add a, a variable or a property for our equation. And that is possibly this. Now, this will be kind of hard to see because we're going to have separate variables in order to track this, which I'm going to start here. So let's see. We need to have our highest um, highest first dim, I guess. Okay, so our highest first dim will be... A a, um, a variable that we will set when we um, do it. Uh, that's tricky because what if this current floor is much, I think I'm going to have to flip these. I think this is highest. I think it's current minus highest. That makes sense because if highest is zero, then we don't need to subtract anything. Okay. All right, so now we have our f we have this equation right here. We can set our equation to oh shoot, we also need the yeah. Let's look, we can do it now. This will be our dimensional dimensional sacrifice. Okay, and this will be floor. We're using big doubles floor. Uh, log base ten and. I think I'm just going to put abs just to be safe so you don't get negative infinity at, uh, at any point. And also, I need, eventually, I know this is like out of the way, but I need to somehow create the infinity thing, which is not that hard to do. I just got to set everything to infinity, you know, until we break it. And then in here, we just put uh, game.data.dimension count. And that is zero. Okay, so that is our dimensional sacrifice, and we are going to subtract this by <coughs> the same thing here, except our highest first dimensions. Okay, so that is pretty much it. This can honestly go to. Uh, also, I don't know when dimensional sacrifice resets. I think that's just galaxy only. I believe. I will. I. I think we will have to observe that later. But let's go to our data and add that in here. So we have dimension shifts. Let's add another. Let's add our highest first dimensions. Okay. And we will set that to zero right here. Okay. Game.data.highest first dimensions. All right. So we need to set this equation in. Okay. This will be when we sacrifice, okay? So let's have a variable public void dimensional sacrifice. Ah, see, that's matching to our variable, so I'm going to lowercase that. Uh, dimensional sacrifice, okay? And now in here, let's just set our, our uh, let's just set this to our current count. If... Okay, so first of all, we got to make sure this is greater than zero, right? Or greater than one. So if this is greater than one, then we will do the process. But also, I mean, we don't need to check to see if this is higher than this because it shouldn't be in the first place, right? Um, okay. I think we're going to have to do a little bit more work here. Yeah, let's do this. We're going to, instead of doing the, the arrow thing, we're going to do it in a get... We're gonna get her, okay? So we're gonna create two variables. This is our current, okay? And we need to create a highest variable. And we'll move that in here. Okay. So if current is greater or equal than, uh, if it's just greater than highest, then we're going to return um, basically current minus highest, okay? 
Otherwise, we're just going to return one. <clears throat> Alrighty, pretty easy. And we could probably make this private. Okay, so the, the sacrifice is pretty much the same thing as a shift, except we just reset all of them. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Dimensional sacrifice would move all of your first to seven. Okay. So it won't reset eight. And that's it. And it'll boost eight. Okay. So where's our dimension shift? Right here. So let's go to our shift reset. So instead of doing it like this, where we reset all of this, we need to reset the first seven. And we're going to do this in a for loop, okay? We can't do this new big double thing. We can't just do new big double seven or else we won't have an eighth dimension anymore, okay? So in here, we need to, let's set this to here. Of our data at the top, we can get rid of this game of data. Okay, so I created this for, uh, for loop. Now instead of doing eight, I did seven because remember we don't want to clear the eighth dimension. We just want to mess with the first one through seven. I think it's one through seven, or is it two through seven? Yeah, one through seven. That would make more sense. Um, and in here we just set count equal to zero. We set boosts equal to. I think we just set it. Yeah, we set it to zero. And we set unlocked to true. So we don't actually mess with the the, the unlocked here. Um, oh yeah, we need to do at index i. Index i, index i. Let's see, what are all of these? Just, yeah, okay. They're just default variables. Easy enough. Okay, so that will work just fine. And... Okay. Where is my variables? I'm just like lost. Oh, right here. So this is the this is the dim sack to get. Okay, this is the dim sack to get. All right, we need to add to uh, another variable in data, which is going to be our public big double uh, dimensional sacrifice boost. Okay, and we will add that above here. Set it equal to z to one. Okay, alrighty, and we will add on to this boost right here. So that's after we, uh, we don't need to reset antimatter. Um, after we set this to its count, we will add on to the boost. So this is data dot boost plus equals data uh, dimensional sacrifice total or to get. Okay, and now in here, uh, we need to multiply the boost by the eighth dimension. So where's our production here? Okay. And so this is where things get a little tricky because, this is, oh wait. Okay, I think that I'm just going to find my boost, dimensional shift boost, right? Okay, so I'm going to do... <laughs> Uh, if, yeah, okay, this will, this should work fine, because this is a dimensional shift boost, right, yeah, so it's applied to this right here, okay, so we can just do i equals, if i is equal to 7, then we are going to multiply this shift boost by this sacrifice boost, and we're setting this here, and then we multiply it. Okay, so we actually haven't um, done the equation yet. I forgot. We wrote down this equation right here. Starts at exponent 11. We never actually did that. You see, this is our calc this is our exponents here. So we're calculating, we're subtracting the exponents. So we need to somehow combine these together. So this we're not returning current minus highest because we're just so we're just we're just returning the highest. Um, if there is a highest, right? If the current one is higher than what we already have, then we're gonna return that. So, so I think we just gotta return this right here, right? So we just do 1.21. Oh yeah. So we do big double pow. Um, 1.21 to the power. Yeah, 1.21 to the power of current minus highest minus 10. Okay. 
And that is our exponents. Cool, that should do. And we'll convert this into a question mark operator, just like that. We can just space that out. I think we're good to go. Let's give it a shot. This might look weird. Oh, we actually, I don't think we have the interface for it yet. Okay, so we have our, uh, I don't know what happened there. Okay, it moved me. Okay, so I'm gonna add a text in here. It's a TMP text. It's gonna be called dimensional sacrifice text. And we also need a button. So this is red. So when does this turn green? So it turns green when this is greater than one, right? Yeah. <clears throat> also, you see this looks like it's slowed down a lot. Hmm, so maybe our equation isn't quite right after all. That's interesting. So 127. Come on, let's get a little more action going. So 127 is still our highest. So maybe it does like decay or something. Because I did remember when we talked about this, it's not exactly that. So maybe there is some sort of like log action going on or some square root. Uh, yeah, see, it's still picking up. So the highest we got for sure, right? But this is slowed down eventually based on, um, I don't know. Let's hear. Let's try it again. Let's try to get this further. Yeah. So 121. 148. Okay, so let's let's grab this number here. Okay, 1.14 times 1.14. It's yeah, it seems like it's this number here is not adding on, but it's also like based on what this is here. So ours is gonna be based on or what it was originally. And this is multiplying. So I think we're going to have to implement some kind of formula for this. And again, this is way more complex than I was imagining, but we will just see what we can do with this so far. And let's add another image here. Okay, so we're going to set all of our dimensional sacrifice text and buttons. Okay, so we do dimensional sacrifice and then our variable that we created for the to get dot notate and we want two decimals. And this is our default, so we can actually just get rid of that. And for our color, so we will do the same thing, except if, oh boy, what's this? Oh, it's dot color. So if, okay. So if dimensional sacrifice is greater than one, we'll just do that. If it's greater than one, otherwise there's really no point in doing it. And I don't know if that's how they do it, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of, um, uh, quality of life because we don't want to dim sack at, at one okay when it's useless so and that's what our if statement up here is for anyways I'm gonna save it it looks good <sighs> things might turn out iffy it might turn out great who knows and I want this to appear okay we want this to appear when we have five okay so that's cool we can do this so if data dot dimensional sacrifice or yeah shifts is greater than four then we're gonna set this active okay so we can actually move this here replace the if statement and do game object dot set active and we'll make it true based on whatever this bool uh, condition is here which is if it's true or not okay so now we're gonna go back to our unity and we're going to try it out. So we're going to go to our dimensions manager, add our dim sack text and our button. We need to apply dim sack to our, uh, this is the wrong button, drag our dimensions manager and apply dimensional sacrifice. Save it. Let's, I don't know. Oh, our dimensional sacrifice is still here. That's wrong. Uh, we need our tick speed cost button. Uh, our button is still here. Why is it still here? Okay, for some reason I can still toggle this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. You know, we force it to be active accordingly to whatever this statement is. Yet yeah, we can still update this. I'm just not going to worry about it for now. 
because that's, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to worry about it. Uh, let's cheat. Let's cheat in some numbers. Oh, shoot. Okay. So we already see an NAN. That's not good. Maybe after we get some exponents in. We don't see our dims. Okay, so there's something going on. We don't see our... We don't even see our shift button over here. Oh, this is the dimensional shift button. I see what I did wrong here. Okay, so... <laughs> oops. Uh, scratch what I said here. We need to fix this if statement here. Oh, now we'll just replace this here with the sack button. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, pay attention to your code or else you'll be stupid like me. Cool. So our button's gone. Uh, we have our dim shift now. Okay, now we can cheat. And our, I don't know what happened to the NA in here, but we will see. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna increase the intensity of this. Uh, you know what? It's fine. I need key binds so badly. I keep telling myself that. Maybe I should just do that next to get it done and over with. And this is dimensional, uh, dimension boost still. Oh, okay, so we have our NAN here. That's not good. Well, we know our equation is completely screwed. Also, this should say dimension boost. So, okay, what we're going to do here is add this question mark operator. So if dimension shift is greater than 4, then we're going to uh, display this as question mark, question mark, shift, dimension shift, right? Is it shift or no, it's shift and then galaxy. So it's boost, dimension boost, yeah, and then it's shift if it's not. Okay, and why is this NAN? I don't know. Let's see what we did wrong here. So we have our, okay, I see here. Our highest is zero, right? So we need to add a plus one because it's log. Same thing for here. Just, we need to add one because it's a log. And logs are evil. Logs are very evil. Actually, I'm adding plus one might not be the solution, but at least um, we can just do, if uh, this is equal to zero, then we're just gonna pick one, or we're gonna actually, yeah, we're just gonna do zero. And we'll do the exact same thing for this, except with the highest first dimensions here. So if it's equal to zero, then we'll just do zero, otherwise we'll choose this, and that should work. Okay, we gotta do this all over again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have our one times here. Good. 0 0.18, that does not look correct. And yeah, I think that's because of this right here. Okay. <laughs> uh, man, all right. So we also need to do another question mark operator here. Uh, basically, if this current high is less than 10, right? Yeah, if it's less than 10, then we're just going to set force set this to 1. Otherwise, we will use the boost. And we can get, I guess we can get rid of these parentheses. I'm curious to see if this actually pursues its goals. Let's pause it. Okay, so we're at 30 times. This is going a little too fast. We need, to sp we need to speed this one up, though. <laughs> okay. I believe that equation's growing too fast, and that's because this has some kind of, like, um, reduced effect or something. So what we need to do eventually is make this equation not add on to it, but it needs to be based on uh, what our current boost is. So we're actually technically multiplying it, right? So before we forget to do that, we're technically multiplying because that's what this does. So it boosts 8th dimension by 1.44 times, right? Okay, so let's see. Where is this going? Um, so we're at E28. Okay. This will probably pick up in a little bit. Hopefully I will be able to watch it. Uh, I just need to compare. So this should be 30.91 at E28. And now I can't remember what this was back at E17, but 
I guess it's worth a shot. Too slow for me. As I'm playing this, I think it's kind of cool how the math works. Because, like, I never, like, really thought of this kind of stuff until I did a deeper analysis. And I think doing this kind of analysis is fun. It may not be for some other people, but I don't know. I like doing this. I think it's interesting. Is this increasing by a constant amount every time? That's almost what it seems like, but it's... I don't know. Okay, we're at five times now. Okay, let's push ourselves just a little bit. Maybe like E35. Okay, we're, cl we're close. Wow, this seems very off. <laughs> okay. So, 6.76... Uh, divided by 7.29. I think it's the other way around. Yeah. Let's see, what is this doing? What is this funny equation doing? So, okay. <laughs> you see this equation starts to fade off because our initial multiplier is 1.21. So this is clearly um, fading off by a lot. So how do we do this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I want to make this as realistic as possible. Okay, so nine times is thirty. Oh, maybe it's like a square root or something. No, that wouldn't make sense. No, no, no. Nine is not the square. Okay, big brain. Um. Okay. So this definitely decays over time. So let's head back to Desmos. Not synergism. Desmos. Okay, so we have our equation here. Um, we need to initially start to decay this like that, but it doesn't seem to go this fast. Again, I don't know how fast it does. So we know at nine, so at nine point X, we have E30. I should do a note for this one. We have at nine X, we have E30, which is 30 minus 11, which is equal to 19. Okay. So we need to figure out, and this growth at 19 is 107x. Around that. Let's see, did we copy it? No, we didn't. But it's around 1.7x. Okay. So what we can do here is find a way to get this equation to equal 1.07 at 9. 19 actually so at 19 right now and we don't want this to go below one okay so that's also another thing we don't want this to go below one so we want to add one to this and so now this starts at one can i like uh do zero point can i do that oh boy like that something like this right but it eventually no but it doesn't it's not supposed to go to one that's not my goal so at 19, so we can plug this in, 19, this is, yeah, see it's at 1. So we need to take this initial value, okay, so this is 2. Mm. Yeah, this is a little tricky. This is some tricky math here. I'm going to come, I'm going to try to figure this out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I kind of developed something here. I'm kind of just playing with these variables and trying to approximate where this is happening. Uh, we look pretty close from what I'm observing here. Again, this is not this is probably not exactly correct or how they do this. I am just taking a very, very good guess. So you see this this like after a hundred of these levels, right or levels, what is this? So exponent. So after e100, this seems this seems to slow down, but I'm not sure if that's like the goal. So let's keep buying these and seeing where this goes. So now we're gonna observe here. Okay. So we have. Uh, okay. Cool. So let's divide these together now and see what we get. Divided by what is it? 18.49. 18.49. Okay, so you see it, it decays a little bit, but it's not as slow as I imagined. What is it, 18.48? I keep deleting it. 
No, 49. Okay. Doesn't have to be exactly correct, but okay. So we have this right here. <sighs> so this is what it should equal at 43. So if we do 44, you see this is still a little too fast. So that's kind of a really tricky thing here is that it's slowly slowing down. And I don't know what it's trying to aim for. Because honestly, if I'm not a math wizard when it comes to this game. So let's see. 104. Let's try to have it slow down a bit. So where I can write it. 112.36. 114.49. Okay, so now let's divide these together. We have this right here. So you see it slows down, surely, um, by quite a bit. Oh, wow, look how close that is. And this is, like, e oh, yeah, so this needs to, this shouldn't be this fast, okay? And this is, like, 110-ish, 108, I think that's when I had it at. So let's increase this by, like, 4, 5, 3, 2... I think that's too much. This seems like a good place to be at. Okay, so if we do this at 19, our multiplier is slightly higher, but it's pretty close. And again, we don't have to be exactly correct. That's not our goal here. Just at least we have somewhere to lead to. But after a thousand, you know, it starts to, you know, it starts to go off. So I'll, I'm. this might be one of those things where I'm going to have to research on. If this turns out to be complete failure, and if it doesn't work, then, yeah, I'm going to have to do research because it's not this easy. Okay, so let's write this all down in the equation now. Come on, get out of here. This is tricky stuff, guys. Okay, so we're going to do big double dot pow. Now we can just get rid of this big double. It's just pow. And this is... 0 0.21 to the power of 0 0.115 times plus one. Okay, so times uh, the first exponent, which is, I think that's our current. Yeah, that's our current right here. Okay, and then we, do we multiply these together like this? Mm, yep, it already does that. Okay, cool. And then we add a plus one after this whole equation, and that's our base. <laughs> this is nuts, guys. And I don't even know how the, the current the highest thing works. I'm just going to keep this as plus equals for now. Okay, so let's try this and see how far we can get. I don't know how accurate this is going to be, if it's going to be correct at all. It may still be too severe. Who knows? Okay, so good. It starts at zero or at one. And we should see that till later on. Okay. It, the analogy just looks a lot less. So I might have to... I think I need to apply that minus 10, which is an explanation on why we see this huge shift, maybe. So let's see this 19... Because at zero, it should be here. But by the time, so yeah, by the time we're at 30, you know, we're losing a lot of growth here. So I think we just need to do minus 11. Okay, because when we're at zero, we have this equation here. But at 11, it should be fine, right? Okay, so it should, yeah, that looks perfectly fine. So we need to add minus 11 to this current here. And yeah, we will have to add some parentheses, I believe. hate how this thing freaking moves around like crazy when there's an error. It's so annoying. <laughs> See, it's so annoying. It's just, ugh. It's one of those coding pet peeves of mine is when Ryder literally just does that. Uh, okay, let's just buy a ton because why not? Yeah, you can see this is a lot slower now. I think we're pretty close. So E43, we're at 18. 
Uh, yeah, we're a little bit short, but we're getting closer. And after we apply this, this uh, growth equation here, we should be good. If it's not correct, we're going to be fine. I'm just worried about approaching to one and it not doing anything or barely anything. That's my, that's my fear right now. I should add a save system for this. This is freaking annoying. This is devastating. I hate having to just click all this without a bimax. I either need to add a save system or a bimax. One of those. Or keybinds, at least. Okay. Oh, I don't have bimax. I keep thinking this is like the real game. Cool. Okay. Now we got to get started. Let's go to 43. Oh, wow, this is still pretty sharp, I think. Wow, we are we are so close. That is unbelievable. Oh, wait, this is 43. Okay, so what's at 43? 22. So, yeah, we we do have quite a bit of, um, of a difference here, but I think in the long term it will balance out, which is okay. Uh, yeah. I think this is fine, honestly. Also, one thing I want to do is this. I want to fix this real quick, because that's a little annoying to look at. So I think the way to fix this is by doing num.mantisa. Now, instead of doing this, we need to truncate this first. So I think we just do truncate. Uh, big double dot truncate. I think we can just do math.truncate here. Math.truncate. Frick. Yeah, I think this is what we want to do. Not round to the... F yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to ignore this. I'll, I'll figure that out a different day. But... Okay, so let's try to dim sack and see what happens. Okay, so it applies the boost, I believe. So now this is producing nothing. Why is it 60? Okay, that's odd. This isn't producing anything now. Okay, so it looks like, let's see what happens when we reach the highest, which I don't know what that was, but let's just try it out. Well, it's not helping that 8th dimension is completely useless right now. That's definitely not helping. Okay. I see. Could this be it? Could this be the actual equation here? Uh, where is our game? Where is our actual game here? This just seems too severe. So I think what our text is going to display is it's going to be adding like we are here, right? But it's going to be displaying the difference between here and here when we're multiplying it because we are applying a boost, right? So I think we are on the right track with the equation. It's doing the right thing, but it's displaying the wrong numbers. Well, not really wrong numbers. If this said plus 1.57x, this is completely correct, right? But that's not our goal. That's not what we're trying to do. So let's fix that real quick. And I think we're, we're done with this, this system. Okay. Uh, I want to apply it. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> so I think all we need to do is divide our current by how much we're going to add. So let's say we have 500 X, right? And let's say we are going to add another one, right? Another one. Uh, we flip it. Right, so we do 500 plus 1 divided by 500, right? So this is our this is what we should be displaying, okay? So this is very easy to do. 
This is very easy to do. Uh, so we grab our current boost and we divide what we're actually going to get, which is this right here. And then we divide by that, what we currently have again. So let's take this all in parentheses right here. Boom. We're going to divide what our current uh, dimensional boost is and uh, how else did we do it? So we divide all of this and we also add uh, our boost here, right? Do we need parentheses there? Yeah, it looks like we do. Okay, so this is pretty lengthy. I know it's really messy, but what we're trying to do here is here. Let me bring this down real quick. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is we have our equation here. We add our current boost and we divide it by what we already have now because we're trying to find the change in our boost, right? Because this should be a lot lower, though this is looking pretty good so far, but it, it should be much lower. So I think after this change, we should be safe and we can finally call it a day. <laughs> this is fun stuff, but holy cow, it can be stressful. Okay, so our current boost is one. We're doing, right, right now we're doing one plus one divided by one, which is two. So how do we fix this? Well, we subtract one from this boost, right? Okay, so we just, all we gotta do is subtract one and we don't even need parentheses here, I think. Oh, it looks like we do. Do we need parentheses around this? Okay, so we don't need this here. Holy cow, this is so lengthy. <laughs> Okay, so we can delete some parentheses here. One, two, one, two. Okay, I want to make sure this is dividing this entire thing right here, because I feel like it's not. There we go. <laughs> I was like, why is it not doing anything? Okay, so we have our equation now. <laughs> Hopefully this minus one will solve it. Okay, so we're back here. It looks like our equation is looking good so far. I'm just hoping it will display the right uh, number. So we'll know once we see the 1.21, okay? So let's get this started. Yeah, woohoo! So let's just get a bunch of these, record our highest E20, E30. Okay, let's sacrifice now, 32. This is still, their eighth dimension is still not doing anything. Frick, I forgot about that. Okay, well, that's not good. That means this is going to be a little harder to get back to, but I want to at least see if this whole thing turned out good or not. Yeah, I think this, I think this is good. Yep, cool. So we have our dimensional sacrifice done, but I don't know why eighth dimension is not working. So we can close all of this. Even we can just get this uh, boost right here going. So our shift boost is multiplied by our uh, dimensional sacrifice, which is, okay, so we have 30. Why is it not multiplying? Okay, so I'm gonna multiply. So 256 times 1.19, that should be 488. That's less. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I forgot. We're applying to our current boost. Okay. Never mind then. Oh, I think we're still adding, right? Oh, right. Yeah, so we got to multiply here. Okay, I see what we did wrong here. We need to multiply this still. Okay. So I don't I I don't I still don't understand why this is incorrect. Why it's not doing anything. Oh, I think it's because we never, why did I subtract this? I don't know. Okay, I think I see here. We need to expand this by one, and I think that's all we need to do. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay, I'm hoping this worked. I'm hoping this is my last time I gotta mess with this stuff. I'm always coming in like, oh, this shouldn't be, this shouldn't be hard at all. Oh, I'm wrong every time. Also, I don't think my tick speed resets as well. I th I believe that's how this works. Yeah, so we need to reset tick speed on our shift too before I forget that. And I don't need to test that because I already know it works. 
So we need to do our shift reset and we do data dot tick speed levels equals zero. Yep, okay, that's all we need to do. Okay, let's test this. Cool, so now it's working. Okay, let's try it again. Scary moment. Okay, so let's sacrifice and it should start producing. Yes! Awesome. Damn, that's slow. That's a slow start. <laughs> And this is where Bimax would become really useful right now. Cool. We just need to catch up. I could do a, uh, a sacrifice right now. I don't know why this is rounding like this. It's really awkward to look at. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. It's whatever. It's not a big deal. Oh, look at that. That is so satisfying. But it's not multiplying our boost here. Why is it not doing that? Ugh, it's making me so mad. <clears throat> Let's try to get this back up again. Okay, so four times. This should multiply by four. And it still isn't, but whatever. At least the, the dim sack works. Is this multiplying the cost? Is that really what's happening here? Is that why? Because, like, why is the cost 340? I don't... Okay. Maybe that's it. I'd be confused, but... Okay. So, let's see. This 210. I don't know why the cost is extremely high. It's very weird. Oh, it's because we have 330. Okay, that makes sense now. So, nothing is changing here at all. I don't know why. It's a little annoying. But I, I do believe the boost is still here somewhere. So our, our dimension shift boost right here. So if I is equal to 7, which we eventually hit, we multiply dimension shift boost by the the sacrifice boost. Okay, so I think this might be the issue here, is that we're bringing this boost to the wrong place. I don't know why it wouldn't be working here, right here, but I'm going to give this a try. Uh, we're just going to multiply this, this boost thing here, where we do a question mark operator. And I'm not going to test this because that's uh, time consuming. Actually, you know what? Fine. We'll do it. So if I is equal to seven question mark, uh, this is ID. So we multiply this by, um, if it's equal to seven. Uh, let's check. Do I actually like do this? ID minus one. So we do I, yeah, okay. From zero to eight. So if I is equal to seven, then we do game dot data dot dimensional sacrifice boost. Otherwise we do one. Okay, cool. Let's give this a shot. I'm curious on why not, it's not showing up. I also need to do this text. I'm going to eventually forget about it, but it's not important. I just want to get the gameplay done. I want to at least get galaxies done. And infinity. If we can get infinity, that would be awesome. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh! <laughs> I want this to be a noticeable boost. Like We can obviously see it's happening. So you see, this is producing around one, e, maybe two e two per second. Okay, let's buy max this. Let's see. I want to make this go faster. Okay, so it's producing about one e seven per second. Done. So it looks like it's still producing the same amount. So. Okay, well, we can only check for this in... Okay, so we have our highest right here. Our dimensional sacrifice boost seems like it's unaffected. 
That's not good. That's probably the reason why this whole thing is not working. Okay, so I see. We have to multiply the boost before we set the highest, right? Okay, so now let's try one more time. Uh, why is our boost going down? Hello? Our boost is going down. What the? Um, our boost is literally going down. What? Okay, I'm going to have to check that out. That is, um... That is crazy. Why is it going down? I've n Ugh, what? There's probably something wrong I did in the equation here. So I'll take a look off of it off video and I'll like make changes accordingly. But let's try this out. See if this works. So this should be like E7. Yeah, that's better. Also, before I forget, I just wanted to point out that the reason why this wasn't working is because I was dividing by the current boost, right? So that's not the right thing to do. What we want to do instead is multiply by this equation right here. And remember when I said that, let's say our current boost is 500, right? And uh, we want to get one more. We're dividing... Oh, wait a minute. A minute. Alright, so I'm not very happy with myself. I had to look up the equation, okay? I just had to. And it's actually surprisingly... A lot different than I was expecting. So basically, it's uh, we can ignore this max, honestly. I th actually, let's see. What happens if we do it without it? Uh, yeah. So basically, we just don't have any negative variables. And we could just do... Basically, this is just an absolute. That's the same thing. Actually, no, that's not. Basically, we just won't get anything past or below zero. Or below one, I think. Yeah, below one. And... It's actually like a kind of like a looks like parabola. Wow. <laughs> a little surprised by the actual formation of this, but you could see how I was somewhat close. But the reason why I was going negative is because my equation did this. Now, I do not know why it happened, nor do I really want to find out. All I know is that this is the equation. So basically, it's floor, log base 10. Um, and also, this is um, graphed in 10 to the x. So basically, I'm showing like that this is like exponents because you can see it stops at 308 right here because that's their limits. So this is the graph right here. And yeah, so I'll be using this. I'm really upset that I couldn't figure it out, but it's okay. I, I don't think I was ever going to anyways. So let's replace it. And yeah, so also what's cool is that in the... Where did the article go? I just had it pulled up. But it did say that it was calculated based on the highest the amount of dimensions sacrificed. And we used floor. So that would solve our problem. We can also use the exponent too. That works just as fine. Like if I do this. See. It works just fine. It's just that. Um, yeah. We do need floor. Never mind. Ignore what I'm just saying right now. Let's just get on with it. So here. Let's split this up here. Okay, so let's get rid of this. We don't, we, yeah, we can just do current minus highest. Okay, I pulled it up. So this is what it is. N is the total amount of first dimensions sacrificed. Okay, so this is like the actual boost, right? So it looks like it doesn't provide the equation for what boost we're getting. But that's okay. We don't need that because we already somewhat do that in here. So we can just get rid of this in here and do max. Uh, comma one and in here we're gonna do an equation for floor uh, log base 10 okay and this is going to be our data dot highest first dimensions in here uh, that's it we also need to divide all this by 10 and we need to do uh, to the power of two. We need to do. We need the. Yeah, we need to do all this to the power of two. Okay, and it should work now. Also, we have some errors here. We need to add back our parentheses there. Okay, that should work. Should I test one more time? Why not? Everything seemed to decay eventually, so I didn't want that. I wanted uh, I wanted something actually working. I didn't want to deal with that really messy equation because I feel like that would screw everything up in the future. So it's better to be safe than sorry. If heavy, if you're watching, I'm sorry if I disappointed you.
I broke my first promise not to look up any equations or anything, and I already broke that rule. I should be punished. Ah, oh, equations not working. Okay, that's not good. Shoot. Okay. Well, I, it looks like we already have a boost applied. Why is that? Did I ever? Did I even like quit out of the game? I don't even know what happened there. Uh, okay. Well, this is great. Our boost is not even working now. Honestly, we don't even need this max, right? We don't need it. Uh, also, this this highest, this should be our current. So this is our dimension count, which is explains why it's not working. Okay, so one last time. Okay, cool. So our equation is going great. And it should decay perfectly as we predicted. It should be around 18.46 when we hit E44. Looks like it will be. Beautiful. Alright, we got the equation working. And, sorry, I wish I made the equation, but uh, I'm not that smart, so it's okay. Alrighty, we fixed it. Okay, anyways, sorry for the really long video. I, I, I thought those would be a lot shorter, but this is definitely an interesting one. So make sure you smash the like button. Smash it a lot. Tell you all your friends. Tell people about this amazing series. Share the news. I am doing my best in this series. If you enjoyed it, so yeah, make sure you smash the like button. Share with your friends if you like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Turn on those notifications so you get notified for every stream and video. Comment all your suggestions, feedback, and any of all that good stuff below. And check out my other videos in the top right corner. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.